Hello, good evening, everybody. Welcome to How to Podio. Uh, recording got messed up on the last uh, last week, so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over how to create a workflow. And you know what I use this for in my Podio is you know whenever a new lead is entered into the system, whether from Google Voice Text and email marketing, um, you know new direct mail lead, um, any kind of you know any any time that leads go into the system, I want a task created for somebody to call that lead, right? So it's not sitting somewhere waiting for somebody to move it or somebody waiting for somebody to notice it and tell somebody to call it. You know, when a lead goes into our systems, a task is immediately created um, to call the seller. You know, and, and we are able to maintain, you know, callback times within 24 hours um, a really good very consistently. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into how we do this. Okay, it's something I do with every new workspace. So first thing we do is we're going to go into the app we're working on, which is the seller lead app. Where all of our main leads are going. I'm working on some other stuff to um, something to manage direct mail list as well, but I just started working on that the other day. Okay, so we're in. Uh, we clicked on seller leads. Now we're going to click on the wrench. Okay, and we are going to go all the way down to this advanced section where it says manage workflows. Okay, so we go wrench all the way down to manage workflows and click on that. Okay, and so there's no workflow set up here, so we're going to create a workflow. Okay, so there's three things to look at here. The new workflow. You can. This is what it, what it triggers. You know what, what's going to trigger the action, right? So I like to, I use this one. Okay, whenever a new seller lead is created, and this is one that you can do whenever a specific field is updated. I don't use this for anything at the moment, so we're just going to focus on the seller created. Um, this does not apply for mass importing though, um, which kind of sucks. And then we can have it create a task or add a comment. Again, I'm, I'm using create a task here. And so we're going to title the task, initial call. That's like which, what the person's going to see uh, as the task name, right? We'll assign this. Um, in this case, um, Steve C is um, taking care of his own calls right now. So we're going to assign that to him, OK? And then we're going to set a due date of current time now, OK? Now the reason I do current time now is it gives me a nice little date stamp because the task will actually be due at a specific time. And, and based on that time, I know when the lead was entered in the system. Um, so let's say if the call team was done at 5 p.m. and the leads were entered in at 6 p.m., you know, I, I, can, I can obviously tell that you know, it wasn't the call team that forgot to make the calls that day. It was that they were entered in that day, you know, after shift, right? Um, but that I like having that date stamp on on that. And you also know when your VAs, uh, if you're having VAs enter them in when they're when they're working, um, and it's, that's a good thing to know. Uh, so we're gonna name our workflow, initial call, and then we click save. So it's really easy. Um, and then it'll, you can just delete them here or create new ones or just click on it to edit it. Um, another one that I used to do, uh, I don't do it so much anymore, um, but I like to have like a follow-up task. So let's say if you have somebody audit, auditing your Podio, you could, um, you know, check this out. If you wanted to add like a, a check and balance system, right? Okay, so let's save this one. And let's create another one. When seller leads created, make sure lead was called. Okay. And let's say we assign that to somebody else like me, right? And I want this to happen um so not today, tomorrow. Not tomorrow. So I would do this like at the end of the week, right? We'll set it for like next Friday for the Friday after it goes in, and I can just check in and make sure nothing's slipping through the crack. 
you know, the reason I wouldn't do tomorrow is then it's too soon and you're looking at the, the audit before you gave them a chance to complete it and you look, end up looking at. So that's another example of um, creating a workflow. Um, I'm just going to double check and then I'll remove it. So I'm actually going to use this one in the workspace. Okay, so we have double check. I want to get rid of double check. I just do delete and I type delete. Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to be talking about this a lot in my videos. When you delete something like that from Podio, there is no save file. Like It's not backed up anywhere. I had somebody delete their entire workspace and there is no way to get it back. We've dealt with um, support too, so just don't do it. <laughs> Fair warning. Um, so that was it. So we'll walk you through one time real quick. Uh, to create a workflow, we are going to go to the wrench. So we're going to click Sell the Lead App first. Then we're going to click on the wrench. We're going to go to Manage Workflows. And then you can edit them from there. It's pretty easy stuff, and you can get pretty creative for it. But this is the one, this is the one workflow that I have in every single workspace um, that I'm working in, and, and it's a big one. Uh, so we'll go over some, some other uh, tips and tricks later, some other methods. Um, I was going to... We will do one on embedding your web form into your bird dog network site so that your bird dogs can submit leads straight into your Podio. That's one that we'll be uh, coming up with, but I, I need to make like a banner ad or something. Um, so, you know, whenever I get around to that, we'll, we'll have that session as well. I don't see any other questions or support, um, so it looks like we're good for now. Um, we'll be live at 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. And if you guys haven't subbed to the YouTube channel, uh, you can go ahead and click subscribe and you'll get notifications uh, when the live sessions uh, go up. And you can also go to Live Talking to Sellers or click on the banner of the YouTube if you want to get on the live sessions uh, and register for the webinars. Okay, so that link is right there as well. All right, it was good seeing you guys. Thanks for hanging out and I will see you tomorrow.